Here we are in lesson four. We're talking about reduction or reducing fractions. This is in our grade six fraction books. So if you are here on lesson four, you're in the right place. Let's talk about reducing fractions. Reducing fractions simply means making something smaller. That's what reduce means. To reduce a fraction, you need to make it be the same but the number looks different. So let's talk about what that looks like. We're gonna look at this idea of two eighths and one fourth real quick. Let me draw a quick model for you. What you see in my towers of blocks right here is that I have one, two, three, four blocks in this tower and one, two, three, four blocks in this tower. If I take each of these blocks in this tower and cut them in half, I now have eight blocks in this tower, but I didn't change the size of the tower. The whole quantity is still the same. I just have more parts of my whole. So here on this side, I have four parts of my whole. Here on this side, I have eight parts of my whole. So when I'm talking about two eighths, I'm talking about two parts of eight parts of my whole. That's the same thing as one fourth. So two eighths and one fourth are the exact same thing. That's what we're going to be looking at when we start reducing. We're going to be looking at our um, our factors, that means we're multiplying, what we multiply by to get those numbers to the smallest possible number. In this reminder, they say, divide both the denominator and the numerator by two. So by dividing by two, we divide the bottom by two and the top. So I did it and set it opposite, but you know what I mean. When you divide both the top and the bottom by two, you get one fourth. So we took our, um, our eighths and we divided them by two and we get fourths. So reduction is the process in which a fraction is simplified by dividing the denominator and the numerator by the same number. That's the most important part. So they show you here how to get started. They're dividing this by two. All of these ones, we're gonna divide by two. So we divide the top and the bottom by two. Two divided by two, one. They're reminding you, you're dividing this by two. You don't have to write the divide by two part here. I'm just doing that to help us remember, okay? Six divided by two is three. Eight divided by two is four. And then you can continue. Two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two. If we're looking at comparing these um, fractions, Two sixths is the same as one third. So pause the video and finish all the way up to number 10. So when we look at all of the answers, remember that I divided every single one by two because the directions told me I was just dividing by two. So I look at these and my answers are one half, two thirds, four fifths, two sevenths, three eighths, five ninths, nine tenths, and eight thirteenths. So make sure your answers look like mine. If you did not get all of the answers correct, try writing them out and make sure that you can see the answers. Just like I made this model here for our eighths and fours. You can draw a picture if you need that help. Alrighty, so you finished the first part. Let's move on to two. Reduce by dividing the denominator and numerator by three. So now we're focusing on dividing by three. Here's our example. 
6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 18 divided by 3 is 6. So we're going to continue to divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 9 is, 9 divided by 3, sorry about that. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. All right, I'm going to have you pause the video and finish this and then check your answers. All right, your answer should look a little bit like this. So we have one half, one third, three fourths, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, three sevenths, seven eighths, four ninths, and eight ninths. So if you divided each one by three, these are the answers you're going to have. Do you notice these factors that we keep coming across? As we're dividing by three, we see the factors. That means the two numbers you multiply to get different numbers, right? To get the product. So the numbers that we're multiplying by are three times five, three times four, three times three. Do you see? So we're doing the opposite of division when we're talking about factors. Factors are a big part of being able to reduce numbers. So it's really important to know your multiplication to be able to do this. Let's look at number three and see how we do when you have to choose two or three. Reduce by dividing the denominator and the numerator by either two or three. So you have to look at each one. Can you divide two by three? You cannot. So this has to be divided by two. So I'm just gonna write it so we remember, divided by two. If I can't divide one of the numbers by one of these numbers, then I need to pick the other. So two divided by two is one, and six divided by two is three. So here, can I divide a number three by two? I cannot, so this must be divided by three. So now I have three divided by three is one, six divided by three is two. Can I divide this by three? Can I divide this by two? This is how I make my choices. If I can't divide the number by a two or a three, I try the other one. So I have two over three. So continue this work, pause the video, finish the work, and then we'll check the answers. All right, here are all of the answers. So check your work, make sure you have all the answers. I'll read through them. So number one is one third, two, one half, three, two thirds, four, three fourths. Now here is one, the six could be divided by a two or a three, but the eight can't, did you notice? So you have to check the top and the bottom because it must be the same number you divide by on the top and the bottom. Five is six tenths, I'm sorry, um, div divided both by two is three fifths, and then we have number six is five sixths, seven is two fifths, eight is seven eighths, nine is five ninths, 10 is five sixths, 11 is one seventh, 12 is six sevenths, 13 is four elevenths, 14 is five twelfths, 15 is five eighths, 16, this one was really tricky. Again, the six, you could divide by two or three, and it looks like you might be able to divide a 26 by a three, but it doesn't work out. So when you break down and do the math, you, you see that you can't divide 26 by three. This is where it helps knowing your factors, that you know 
your threes, and it goes 18, 21, 24, 27. So we skip right over 26. So we have to divide by 2, giving us 3 thirteenths. This is broken down to 2 ninths, 4 fifteenths, 3 tenths, and 7 tenths. So figuring out that um, whether it should be divisible by 2 or 3 to get to the lowest possible number is something that takes a little practice. And that's what we're doing on this page is practicing. So good job finishing all of this work. Check it. Make sure that it's correct. If it's not correct, fix it. Make it correct before you go on. When you're all done, give yourself that beautiful 100% and you are ready to move on to lesson five.